Hello, I'm the Z and today I will show you a video about the new TNV custom fiber. The V is for TN Vita. Um, this is a PS Vita I got from a friend of mine. It's running the firmware 2.02 with the UNAR exploit. I just booted the TNV um, e custom firmware. He does not want to show his MAC address, so I will just hide it. Um, this PS Vita is running the 6.60 TNV e custom firmware. Um, this would be a CTF theme, which is possible. Um, as you can see, well, it's German, but um, in general, this would be saying Saturday, 16th March 2013, 3.08 a.m. and 59% battery percentage. Um, yeah, so this is Dave Your and XMB plugin by Total Noob. Um, I can access my photo library. This is a screenshot of a spoofed Mictress of the screen of the system settings. Um, I can use the right analog knob for browsing the XMB. The left one is apparently not working. I can use MP3 files. I can also, if you press start and select, um, I have assigned the left and right corner of my PC data screen with um, L and R. If I manage to press both at the same time, I could go back to the XMB and let the music play, but I think it's not possible at the moment. I can't manage to press both at the same time. Um, videos are not working with TNV. Safe games are working. Well, you can use the PSP safe games. Um, and also a nice thing is you can use your homebrews and PSN games, PSN, PS1 games, PS1 games, and ISO and CSO files from the very XMB. You can also use um, 1.5 kernel homebrew, like PSP Finaler version 6.6, 1. kernel version, which should be running at the firmware. 1.50 and firewalls like M33 and me and LME by Neuron with the help of LADA. Um, yeah, so this TNV custom power can run, it can run homebrews, plugins, PSX games, ISO and CSO games, themes, and also. Um, 1.5 kernel homebrews, which are not possible at Pro or Arc, CFV or E Custom Farmer. Um, let's just run the PSP filer homebrew. Um, yeah. So you can see. The usual folder structure like ISO, PSP, picture, music, C plugins, and other stuff. I've also CXMB at this. Um, another funny thing I can just enable custom XMB. Mm, where is it? There is it. Um, since this is the 1.5 kernel version of PSP Finder, this does neither have the PSP on screen keyboard 
nor the PS Vita on screen keyboard. Um, I'm just using PSP Fighter 1.5 kernel since it was the first on my list. Now let's save this stuff. You can also view the flash zero, which is actually M0 slash flash zero slash and the homebrew folders. Um, same with flash run. And um, interesting is if I press select and start at the same time, it emulates the home button, which would be this one, but this one will. Well. If I press it, we will come back to the PS Vita live area. So if I press start and select, it will emulate the home button, home button for the PSP. So it's possible to exit homebrew games and uh, PS1 games like the PSP. Um, yeah, you can see this is a custom theme. can increase the volume a bit mm, theme settings theme. so you can see there are actually a lot of possibilities for the th custom theme like at the PSP um, I just use this theme since I really enjoyed it at my PSP Go. So, well, I have to hide the MAC address. Because this is my friend's Vita. With 2.02. Um, um, if you hold the screen... If you keep holding the screen, you get this menu like you get at every PS1, no, PSP game, like um, filters and assigning the right stick and camera and other stuff. I can't move this. Uh, this stuff further down. Um, it's a bit sad. Let me check some things. Well, yeah, this is a theme I really enjoy. Let me focus on the screen so you see it in full colors. Well, this is at the system settings. I can also press X or Y, X or triangle, sorry. So, well, yeah, it's pretty nice to run on the TNV e custom firmware at the PSP firmware 1.00, 1.01, and so on up to firmware 2.02, which um, is the cap. The newest firmware you can run this is 2.02. There is no newer firmware you can run this. 2.05 and 2.06 um, are not supported by TNV. If there will any, if there will ever be a public kernel exploit for the firmware 2.05, 2.06, or any newer firmware which will be available in well, like some weeks or some one month, um, it would be extra actually possible to use TNV on this new kernel exploit. But well, you need a new kernel exploit. Um, yeah, you see this little girl. It's from an enemy. What's running to the left is the right. If you press triangle, it will rise, and if you do not press triangle, it won't rise. It's really in really nice animated theme. Um, and it should also be possible to if I select color if I now select um, 
right or up? No. Triangle or triangle or there were some settings that I could select these two black or white, but well, it's just about the. Um, you also if you press if you sell if you press sorry, if you press the select button. It's also possible to boot a VSH menu at the TNV custom firmware. You can access the recovery menu where you can change some th settings like skipping the game boot, skipping the Sony startup logo. You can also um, change the driver from M33 to the Sony driver. You can fake the reg region. To Japan, America, Europe, Taiwan, the Eastern countries like Hong Kong. Um, you can also fake it to Australia, Russia, China, the United Kingdoms, and other countries. You can also hide the MAC address. You can enable the colors for you can use the color for the PSP 2000 or 3000 which will be shown as O2G or O3G under a second colors uh, option. Well you will see you can also enable and disable XMB game and pops last run for PS1 games um, plugins and other stuff in the recovery menu so it's basically a part of the M33 recovery menu for this TNV release so I don't bother to boot it and yeah in this VSH menu you can change between the M33 and Sony driver you can change the CPU clock for game at XMB um, I would leave game at default and XMB at 333 or default since the change is not that well you should not notice the change but I prefer to have these settings at every custom firmware I was running <laughs> except for the M33 so yeah I pre prefer these settings um, I also recommend to install Daviour, that is this little line. Um, the English Daviour should say Saturday, the 16th March 2013, 3.20 a.m. and yeah, you should be. Mm, it should be also. It should be very easy to follow this format of date. Um, yeah. Well, otherwise, it are the normal. PSP settings you can change your I'm not sharp you can change your nickname the system language which the character said UMD auto start which should be not important since you can't put an UMD into the PS Vita um, USB auto connection better information which is working you can see exactly how much percentage and hours and minutes you have left this was not working at the PSP Go or PSP E1000, but at every PSP before and the PSP there after them. So it's a bit weird why it's not working at the PSP 1000 and the PSP E1000. Um, yeah. Oops. Um, another thing, the option USB connection is. I have to stress this not working, you can't use the USB cable for transferring files between a PC and the PS Vita, even if it nearly perfectly fakes to be a PSP. Since the PSP emulator does not emulate the PSP USB mode, you can't use this entry. Um, I will maybe release an XMB mod for using this USB slot for starting the 
um, FTP homebrew. So it might be possible in the future to use this um, USB connection setting for starting the FTP homebrew. Um, I've hidden the extras category since I don't use it, and I've hidden Curior Music Ultimate since I don't use it and since it's not working. Um, major features that um, XMP port is delivering you. It's you can use internet browser. You can use the RSS channels. You can use internet radio, which was a very popular feature of the PSP, which was poorly missing its PSP desk, so it's very nice to use this. Um, you have a remote player, which is better to use with the PS Vita app. Um, location free player, not sure if this is supported since just a few persons, people own a U location free player that might be supported. Uh, yeah, and all the instructions. Um, also, you can use, um, you can access the PlayStation Store. It might be easier for you to to did it just boot PSP filers since I pressed the right button. Pretty interesting feature. This was just an accident, but it's pretty interesting that you can boot homebrews with pressing the well right button. Well, this right button, or actually this, since I made this to equal this, but it's nice that you don't have to press X to start homebrews. I did not know this button, I will know this. Um, VSH.txt um, yeah, the on-screen keyboard of the usual PSP filer should be the PSP or PS Vita on-screen keyboard, but this is the PSP filer 1.5 kernel, so this uses a different on-screen keyboard. Okay, it should. Yeah, it disabled um, the CXMB theme. As you can see, internet search, internet browser, RSS channels, internet radio, remote play, location replay, honor instructions, the PSN store, and information board. Well, let's just just use the PSN store from the PSP interface at a PS Vita. Signing in. Connection error. Could Sony fix this piece and access? Um, I know that there's the maintains at the moment, so it just could be the maintains, but it could also be that Sony fixed this. Can I access my account management or can't I? I actually can access my account management. I can also uh, see my download list. I've the last things I've downloaded are Persona 4, Lominis, which was free for PS Plus users and PlayStation Home. Um, Yes, yeah, so I think the Sony does not fix the TNV PSN access since you can't access the download list, which is a pretty interesting feature since you can use this to download um, files, which you could not since you're two, two, one point eight one or previous firmwares. Um, also interesting, um, this text is now in German since my PSN account is in German, but downloading from PSP 
system not possible so the PSN recognizes this PS Vita as a PSP so you can't download PS Vita um, software so this PSN access is just important for just important for downloading PSP or minis so you can't download PS3 or PS Vita software from this PSP XMB with PSN access the service is currently undergoing maintenance okay so the PSN is still in maintenance mode I hope it does not fix this TNV ecosystem firmware access to the PS Vita, uh, PSN from the PS Vita. Um, since it's it's a pretty nice feature, you can access the PSP PSN from a PS Vita with the not most current firmware. So you can basically access the PSN with the not recent firmware. Um, if I, oops, if I want to boot some, um, some games like, well, this is a Japanese game. Well, just let, just let's take this Japanese game. I will boot this Japanese game from the PSP XMB, and let's see if it's working. <sighs> and it should be working. It's not working. Ah, I know why it's not working. I still have uh, later activated the plugin which is necessary for using the 1.5 PSP filer. Uh, oh damn, I could have just disabled it at the PSP recovery menu. But since I booted the since I booted the PSP filer, I can use PSP PSP filer to disable it. So let's remove this one and put in nope. Put an zero at the end of this. So later will be disabled. I'll start and select this by the way for the home button. Oh, good. So I can I oh, got I pressed circle and not X. So I can return to the I can return to the XMB. So now it should be possible for me to launch this Japanese game, which should be working at the TNV custom power. At least it was working the last time I booted it. Japanese games or circle equals X. Um, I will have to check why this game is not working. Um, I have other Japanese games at my PS Vita, so well, I will check why this game is not working. I'm very sure it was working some minutes or hours ago. Let's use this Japanese game. It's um it's actually called Kaon Hokagu Live, which means like like music club live. It's about an well, it's from an anime which is about at first four then five um girls which play music. And they're pretty good at it. I really enjoyed the enemy. So, um. Uh, 
the enemy is actually really good, so is the game. And, well, yeah, this Japanese game is working. 41 per touch percentage done for this game. I'm a bit proud about, about it. Um, yeah, let's... It will be the horror to play it with one hand, but I hope it will be possible. Easy mode. This is the first default stone. I hope I will be able to play it with one hand. Um, the general... You just have to... Oh god. Playing this through the camera really, really sucks. Well, it might remind some people um, at Guitar Hero. Oh god. Well, it's not that easy to play with one hand and through the camera and... <laughs> I just figured. No excuses. Um, well, yeah, it might remind some people about Guitar Hero. It's a very fun game, especially if you like the enemy. Or the manga of Kaon. So, yeah, it was just to show that Japanese games are working. And, well, yeah, in general, this is the. My friend does not want to show his MAC address. Oops. This is the 6.60 TNV. So T and Turtle Noob Vita E Custom Primer for the PS Vita, which will give you XMB access and PSN access also at the most, not most recent firmware. So in general, it's a pretty cool feature. You can access a PSP PSN. You can play your PSP and Minis games online without having the most recent PS Vita firmware, which is 2.06 I guess. Um, yeah, Th thank you to Turtle Noob, thank you to my friend who gave me his 2.02 Uno exploit PS Vita and thank you to every other major dev which helped to develop this, like Dark Alex, which was, which is still a good mentor for Total Noob, Cold Bird, and other good developers. I'm the that and have fun with TNV and see you soon.